<laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I'm not stepping behind the baseline with this racket. No way. What's up guys, welcome back to Gladiator's Tennis and today we're not just reviewing the Wilson Pro Staff V1397 It's the RF edition Which stands for Russian Federation Check out the specs Yes. Russian Federation racket. All right, guys, fine. It, RF doesn't stand for Russian Federation, unfortunately. It stands for Roger Federer. And we've reviewed the pro stuff that's like lighter, and that was pretty good. But this, this is the, the real beast. 340 grams. <sighs> Excited for that. Let's go. Firstly, guys, I have to say that I'm currently sick and I couldn't hit the ball properly on the day we were recording those highlights. So sorry if you don't see the expected amount of winners and cool shots. Just to give you a bit of a heads up of the review, I absolutely love this racket. Whether it's because it's Russian Federation or because it was made in collaboration with one of the greatest players of all time, I don't know, but oh my god, every shot felt silky smooth, rock solid and incredibly easy to direct. Yes, it really lacks on the spin side of things, but who f***ing cares when you can destroy every forehand and feel like fed? Before rushing online or running to your local tennis store and buying the racket right away, do keep in mind that it is really heavy. 340 grams is not a joke and if not used properly, might cause some injuries. After playing with the pro staff, I took my racket and it felt super light. So imagine. I usually don't get into the design side of things that much because usually it's subjective. But in this case, <laughs> fully matte black with a carbon fiber accent at 12 o'clock that doesn't really fit there but looks incredibly sexy and of course Roger's sign that makes this thing a masterpiece. Also did you know that it comes with a leather grip? That's so nice. Let's go shot by shot now. I just gotta say that I've discovered why Roger's precision on the serves is so good. It's not his talent or years of training, it's the racket. Not only was I directing the serves right where I wanted, I could hit them as strong as I wanted. Talking about the flat serves by the way. I only worried about avoiding the long mistake by slamming the ball down and voila, slice serves were really good as well, just the way I like it. Drop the racket at an angle and the ball just takes that slice effect. The other spin, the top spin, was a bit of a disappointment. Well, not a disappointment, it was exactly the way I expected it to be. Super hard to apply top spin on the second serves. But the idea here is that you're gonna have 100% of first serves in. Now onto my second favorite shot with the autograph and that is the forehand. Even though my forehands are usually a bit more spinny than say my backhands, that was not a problem. Adjusted my game to a flatter one and there you go. On my forehands, it almost felt like I was doing a warm-up swing. Like it felt slow and really didn't require any power, but the ball would still go really quick. But the best part was the precision. If I approached the ball well and didn't screw up the swing like I often do, I could aim my shot down to like centimeters. And even though the main shots were the down the lines, when I needed to play a short angle or save the ball with a flick of the wrist, it was absolutely doable. Now to the backhands. Like you'd expect, they felt great. All I want on my backhands is stability and feel, if that's possible. And that's exactly what the thing gave me. Very similar feel to my gravity, but better. Yes, better. Both cross court and down the line shots resulted beautifully impeccably great, especially the down the line passings. Volleys felt wonderful too. For a racket of such weight, they felt pretty maneuverable and nimble. And the impact, once again, rock solid. Also, the understanding of the depth of where the ball is going to go after the impact on drop shots and other tricky shots was very precise. With a racket like this, I can't really avoid talking about the slice, and yes, it was really good. So if you're into slice, keep your eye on this one. Lastly, the returns. And like with any other heavy racket, they felt really good. I like to cut my swings really short on the returns. Not like saber short, but you get the point. So 
So the weight was not a problem. And then when the racket touched the ball, because of its weight, it was a pleasure directing it. I almost felt like the ball was coming in slow motion. Once again, Roger's incredible returns don't come from his talent or trainings. It's all about the racket. Trust me. If you're not looking for a spinny frame and want something with a lot of feel, but like a lot of feel and stability, I don't know if there's a better option out there. You have to be able to handle the weight of the racket, but if that's not a problem, you're in luck. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting about the price. What is it like? 300,000 million? The Autograph Pro stuff brought me some old school vibes. Remember that Wooden Rackets video that we did not that long ago? We talk about how the Woodies changed our style of play to a much more enjoyable and fun one, but they limited our competitive potential because the speeds went down and it was really hard to make finishing shots. And that was a bit sad. Well, I think we found the solution. With the Pro Staff RF, you can enjoy the feel of the past without compromising power or stability. It takes this old school tennis and brings it to another level and that really means a lot. At least to me. Guys, we just wanted to take this little moment to thank you for everything that you've been doing, like subscribing, following, liking, commenting, because you know, seeing all this incredible feedback from you is just absolutely awesome and it yep. means the world to us. This is what we do it for, you know, and yep. seeing it is incredible. So thank you very much and hopefully our work is very joyful for you. And by subscribing, hopefully we give you something. And at the same time, you give us the chance to enjoy this amazing racket. Because so, it really helps. You know? So yeah. So thank you, but thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yes. Here is the racket. You know, it's the most special racket when you see the autograph, the RF. Who, who, who's autograph? Rogers. Of course, one day it's not going to be that special because there's going to be an, you know, Arik Stepanian AS racket with head going to make it, you know. AS. S. Sounds very good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> one day it will be. Bye -bye. So, the RF autograph. You know when you're playing tennis in your dreams and you just hit the best highlights ever non-stop? Well, that's how I play in real life. <laughs> well, not really. But that's exactly how I felt when I was using this model. I didn't even care that it was one of the most heaviest rackets that we tested. I didn't even feel that it was heavy. For example, when I was hitting forehands, I noticed that it's very powerful, but at the same time, it was very composed. Therefore, by adding just a bit of spin, my shots were going fast, but not flying away like with a pure drive, for example. The backhand was the same story. Short approach shots were easy to kill. Meanwhile, on the deep forced backhands, I had enough power to push my opponent back, giving me time to recover my position. Returning was a pleasure. The racket rejected my help. I was just putting the racket in the correct place, and he was doing the rest. Not even the fast serves were a problem to return, as blocking the ball is an easy task to do when playing with this Wilson. When serving, I noticed that my kick serves had a tendency of flying away, so I had to put a lot of attention on making the ball go down, to not miss them. But other than that, it's an all-rounder racket that allows you to hit all kind of serves, even though the most remarkable serve was by far the flat one. And yes, normally heavy models like this one are the best ones to hit big flat serves. But still, the RF surprised me, because it's very maneuvering. <laughs> so you have the capacity of hitting more serves in by directing the ball exactly where you want with a small movement of your wrist. Finally, you don't imagine how long I waited to talk about the volleys and slices. Like, I didn't know if I am the magician or it's the racket. But all the complicated good touch requiring shots, like low volleys or half volleys, were going in. So me and Grisha ended up with doing some nice points. Now, uh, well, I know my points are too good <laughs> and you can't stop watching them, but it's time for the grades. So let's go. Um. Guys, for the play tests, we've used Luxalon Adrenaline 130 and strung it at 24 kilograms. This much in pounds. <laughs> 